It's this weather. Is it getting you down? It's this wet. This, it's not just getting me down. It, I, I'll either be blah or I'll be furious at what an idiot I am for having lived here for all 50 years of my life. What kind of a moron would spend their summers in driving rain? Do you remember how horrible it was last summer? Yeah. When we didn't see sunshine until mid-July? And then it was a big deal when it was the first day over 70 in like a year? Yeah. Yeah. I remember and, those and I'm sick of people getting falsely excited when it gets to 70 degrees for two days, and then we have another week of driving rain. I've had it. I can't take it anymore. So that's what's getting you down? Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. glad I'm glad it's that, because earlier I saw you, you seemed really down, and I thought it was something that I had done. No, I'm seriously really down today. I know. I'm, this isn't a joke. I know you're really down. Yeah. But you're bummed it, out. You've been sulking around the building all morning. It's this weather. I don't know, I don't know what to do about it. I, it's pouring right now. We had Sunday morning. We have this big, beautiful plum tree that I planted about five, six years ago, and it's grown to about a twenty-five foot gorgeous tree. Nice. Sunday morning, because it's full of leaves and it's soaked with rain, and the ground was soaked and the wind was blowing, my beautiful plum tree blew over in the backyard. You're kidding. Our neighbors in a totally separate area of the yard, had this big, beautiful, mature apple tree, fell down. I talked to my friend Don, who you know. Nice, nice guy in the world, Don. Nice guy in the world, Don. Don's got a place out in Issaquah, and a big, mature tree of his just fell over on Sunday. Trees are randomly falling over in July because the ground's soaked, the leaves are full, the rain's pouring down, the wind's blowing. They just can't take it. They're committing suicide. They are, and I don't blame them. I actually understand these trees jumping to their deaths. Not that I advocate that, and not that I'm actually thinking about that for myself because I have a lot to live for, but this is about as depressing a start to summer, and I thought last year was bad. But the thinking was, well, it can't ever be this bad again. Yeah. And now it might be worse this year. <laughs> let, let me ask you this in all seriousness. Yeah. You started off the show by saying you felt like maybe you had wasted 50 years of your life by living through these summers. Do you honestly feel like that? I'm, I'm starting to wonder the choice that I've made to continue to live in the city in which I grew up, in the city that I love. Because let me tell you something. You're a healthy guy. You yeah. do a lot of active things. Yes. You eat pretty well. Uh-huh. But you're probably not going to live another 50 years. It's not looking good. Do you want to spend the rest of that time in this weather? Is that what you're saying? That's a problem for you? I, I, I don't know. I, might... for, I hope you live another 50. I hope you live another 60 years. But if you don't, you're going to spend the rest of your summers in this weather. The problem is if I'm a sunbird, if I someday decide to get a place in Palm Desert, yeah. for example, I'll be down there. For 362 days a year. And I'll come up here for, Christmas. for like three <laughs> days in August, and that's it. So so this is this is just getting ridiculous. And everybody I know is really down right now because it's almost July. It's almost freaking July. No, it's not. It's pouring down rain. Is it July? It's almost July. And it's pouring down rain. I've got the national weather map in front of me. Pick a city. Pick a city. Okay, I'll start with one that's not fair. Mm-hmm. Phoenix. Phoenix, 105 degrees. No, it's not. Serious? Vegas, the greatest city in the world. See, we could be doing our show in Vegas today if we had supportive management. What's the temp? 104. Buffalo, New York. 84. New Jersey. Uh, 87. Low of 73. 87? Yeah, Newark. Um, yeah. Uh, Kansas. Uh, which side of the state? Let's see. Kansas uh, City looks like it's 102. Pittsburgh. Uh, St. Louis, it's 95. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 85 degrees. Everywhere. Right. It's nice everywhere. It's gorgeous everywhere. Bismarck, uh, Grand Forks, North Dakota, 79. Uh, Dallas, 99 degrees. It's too much. I can't take it anymore. Miami, 86 uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, 85. Oh, okay, here's one. Hmm. Boulder, Colorado. Boulder, Colorado. There's no way they're having nice weather. Uh, let's see. I think this is Denver, so it's it's not Boulder. 100 degrees in Denver. Is it really? Yeah. 
Colorado Springs, 94 degrees. So they, it's summer in the rest of the country, it's but sum, here it's, it's summer every place in the nation. Let me ask right you one now. more city. Yeah. Seattle, Washington. 58 and rain. 58 and rain in Seattle, Washington. What are we doing? What, what are we thinking? Why haven't we? See, if I had any kind of power at all, I would mobilize an effort. And I know it would be costly, but because we love the people here mm-hmm. eh, to a certain extent. Some. We, we love the, the water, the lakes, but... If I had any power at all, I would have come up with a way by now. If I had any smarts, and, and I'm, I'm kicking myself for this too, uh, we've got to start altering the weather. We've got to start figuring out a way to change the weather around here. Where's the global warming that has been warned about for the last 15, 20, 25 years? What's yeah, happened to it? I would love it. I would love some of that warming. You, why can't can, – can we please everybody – Fire up our rider mowers. Even if you haven't had trees that have fallen down, will you please just run your chainsaws? Can we please try to warm the globe somehow? Do everything we can. Get your SUVs. Pull them out in the driveway. Start them. Run them all night. Do whatever you can to try to hasten global warming. Probably wondering about Anchorage, Alaska. I was, actually. That was my next question. 80. Really? 80 degrees. And it's beautiful up there. Honolulu. Just as pretty as here. Honolulu, 85. That doesn't even count. Balmy. Everywhere. Everywhere in the country. Every single place in the nation is gorgeous right now, except for where we are right now. Summer's started. I mean, there are people around the country who have gone to their summer lake cabins where the kids go out fishing during the day and mom and dad sit and read a book and have a late afternoon cocktail, and they play family games on the fenced-in porch at night on these beautiful summer nights. Maybe they go to the boardwalk nearby and play some midway games. Lake Winnipesaukee. Exactly. Oh. That's exactly where I was thinking. Here, we're all huddled in. Kids last night said, uh, can, we, can we put a fire in the fireplace, Dad? No, they didn't. Yeah, they did, because it was freezing out for almost July, and it was pouring down rain. It was, it was you were disgusting. afraid your family was going to die of cold if you didn't start a fire. I, I That's actually, the state we live in. I actually started breaking furniture last night that I could toss in the fireplace. Just because cause I'm out of firewood. I don't have summertime firewood stash. No, you don't have it stocked up? No. It's not like it'll burn anyway. It's all wet. Nobody gets the newspaper anymore. I don't have any paper to burn. You had to burn your couch. Exactly. You had to burn your beautiful couch. I love that couch, too. That makes me sick. Couch was made by my grandpa. For my grandma, who died giving birth to my mom. That couch meant a lot to me. Burned it last night because the weather sucks around here. All right, so that's why I'm down. And I, I, I wasn't even planning on spending a whole segment because, as you can see in our rundown, we're we got- supposed to be talking about Sandusky's son right now. Yeah. But, but the only <laughs> son I really felt like talking about was the one that we can't see because it's hidden behind clouds. And I'm just, I'm curious, is it starting to have a, a serious effect? Is it starting to take a serious toll on you? I'd love to hear your uh, D-mails. And, and I guarantee you, most of the D-mails will be, You choose to live here. Quit complaining. And we don't want you here anyway, Monson. Why don't you just leave? Nobody wants you here anyway. And I guarantee that'll be most of the D-mails that I get. We're looking for the thoughtful D-mails, the people that remember... A Seattle like I remember when I was a kid. I don't know why, but the weather seemed to be sunnier when I was a kid. Maybe it was my outlook on life. But didn't it seem like we had some actual warm summers 15 years ago? It was. 30 years ago when you were a kid? I The last weeks of school invariably were gorgeous. I remember uh, taking the bus on, on senior skip day downtown to play some pinball at the Ben Paris restaurant. You Head probably over to the Greyhound sweating the whole way down. Terminal. Yeah, it was a beautiful day. It was beautiful, warm. Uh, the last weeks of school when I was a kid, uh, when I was in college, springtime. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. Sit and re- you go get yourself a sub sandwich at uh, Jilly's on the Ave. Go get and, an icy. And then you sit in Red Square and watch the sorority girls walking by. 
in the springtime. The sorority girls are all bundled up now. Oh, they're wearing parkas. Yeah. Patagonia jackets. Can't it's, see anything through that. It's them. awful. It's just awful what this has done. Not just for me, but for the college kids of today. You guys don't know what you're missing. It's poor kids. When you could, Back in the day, when you could sit on a sunny spring day in Red Square at the U-Dub and watch the sorority girls go by and, and just sit and bask in the warm sunshine and the knowledge that you would never have a shot at any of them. Well, that was me, anyway. That was, <laughs> that was my re- realization. As I was. And watching. you know what they're doing now? Those same guys are sitting there, and they're watching girls walk by in pants and Uggs, and it's disgusting. Yeah, it is. It, it shouldn't and even it be sucks. allowed. And it sucks. Yeah. So, so I don't know if we need a biodome that we put over, over the region or if we need to start altering the weather somehow, but I, I know that we can't keep going on like this. We, cannot, we simply cannot keep going on like this. And, and I feel bad because I, I, I believe you're honest when you say that I was kind of surly all morning. And I was. I was surly. I was depressed from the second I woke up this morning. I'm just glad to know that it's just because of the weather. It is. Yeah.